Welcome Sagittarius to Petrella's Intuitive Insights. This is a brief overview of September 1st to the 15th of 2023. As I was getting into the Sagittarian energy, I really feel as if there is a something new that is beginning. Oh, I know what's that, you know, but this something new is really based in love. It's almost as if a friendship and a love uh, are going to a higher level. Uh, for those of you that are already coupled in a committed relationship, this love is deepening. See, I, I, I live so often. I, somebody just beeped and that's odd. So they must actually know me. Um, I read my environment. For those of you, uh, I'm actually started reading when I was 18 years old, but I started reading cards just about 10 years ago. So when I pick up a card and it says something like uh, inner peace, I don't even need to look at the words. I could look at the pictures. And so I realized that I am one of these people. I just read my environment. Oh, by the way, here's something I can't pass it up. You know, look at this cat in the jungle and look at the moon and the word is success. Sagittarius, you're gonna have like a freedom and a in love romance relationship. It's gonna grow deeper and bond. And you need to love one another as the divine has loved you. Um, <clears throat> there's something about uh, 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 maybe your life in the past however you want to take that, but it's the Sagittarian uh, past life, life in the past, that you're going to either start having dreams about, or it's just going uh, to give you knowledge that you otherwise, or a passion in life that you otherwise shouldn't or wouldn't have had. So you need to pay attention to that. Look at the bottom of the deck is the King of Hearts, uh, a friendship warming into love. How interesting. Sagittarius, September 1st to the 15th of 2023. Oh, okay, so this is already happening. A couple cards of, you may get some shocking news, but it's good news, so fear not. Here is an intense love for life. You're really gonna be loving. That's that whole love, love, loving life. Here's this money that you thought you had lost but it's coming back around again for the Sagittarians. Two more cards had come out. Oh, it's it's a gentleman. So this might be you're the Sagittarius, the gentleman, or if you're the female, this is a gentleman somewhere in your life uh, is going to have some really great luck. It's going to be, do you ever notice like the energy of love um, brings about more uh, of that same energy and it just attracts it. Oh my God. Be careful of betrayal though. There's people around you that will be seeking to betray you. And I got to tell you, I want to pick up my angel deck cards so I can give you guys for this reading. And as I picked it up, I believe this card fell out one or two times already for the Sagittarians. Um, it seems as if you are flying high right now, which may threaten others, but don't descend because others will soon be expired by your example. They're gonna be expired. Uh, they're gonna be inspired to be a better mother, a better father, a better employee, a better friend, uh, a better spouse. Um, so you need this to keep flying high there, Sagittarians. Be who you are. Love, romance, relationship, Sagittarius, September 1st to the 15th of 2023. What does the divine have in store for thee? I got to tell you that right now, um, it's uh, it feels like the calm before a storm. I'm outside again in my yard and you could actually, I think behind me, I could see some dark clouds coming in. But you could feel the energy of it. It feels as if it's calm, almost too calm. So enjoy this. This card flipped out, Sagittarius. And when I say the storm, that doesn't necessarily mean it's bad, Sagittarius. What it's saying is uh, major change, stirring things up, stirring it up. 
Oh, here we have two more cards. God bless you, Sagittarius. The house denotes success in all ventures. And actually, when I see this card, I think of many of you will be moving. It is success. It also predicts marriage. It predicts marriage. Uh, a happy future with prosperity. This is a really good card. And we have the commitment card here, Sagittarius. This is love, romance, relationship. So actually, some of you may be getting engaged, giving this commitment to another person. If you're already in a committed relationship, you may be making a commitment to be fill in the blank. And there you go, Sagittarius, along with the moon card. See, I try to get these readings to... Uh, go on for 26, 30 minutes, something like that. And I get everything that comes out in like five minutes. And I just got to go with it. But see, the three cards that flipped out, the moon, which predicts good omens, we're in love, romance, relationship. The house, which is success. And then we have the ring, which is a commitment, a, a higher level of commitment, which is the queen of hearts. I mean, how else can I say that? Uh, it, oh, at the bottom of the deck is the feminine energy. It looks, oh, I just kept the deck to, sh to shuffle and here's the sun. When it comes to love, romance, relationship, Sagittarius, you're feeling on top of it because you're loved, you're loving others and you know that they love you. Career, finance, Sagittarius, September 1st to the 15th. Okay, this flipped out phenomenal luck. Holy cow, phenomenal luck. Career, finance, Sagittarius, pay attention to your health. Drink plenty of water. Ooh. Oh, here's the betrayal card. Look, you are really, really, really lucky and blessed. You're completely blessed. You have to be careful of somebody that will try to betray you. Maybe take your money somehow. Cut out bad habits. You're, you have bad habits. It's affecting um, the physical body. Um, oh, it, it could be affecting your heart. Uh, Sagittarius. Ooh. Oh, here's the bride card. So some of you, you know, if you're already in a committed relationship, it's all about the bride. And if you are the bride, Sagittarius bride hair, then you know what? It is all about you. It is literally all about you right now. It just is. And there's no apology. Career finance. And it ends up being a happy family with a career in finance. Oh, on the bottom of the deck, here's the open safe. So the money is there for you. <laughs> you just need to keep going each step of the way. I'm just, oh, God bless you. God bless you. Now, look, uh, here's something that I am going to pull an angel card. Again, this fell out of the deck, which is the, you're flying high. People are threatened by you, but I'm going to go ahead and pull another one. You'll see I'll put it in the middle of the deck. So if it comes out again, look, it already did come out again. This is the second time. So Sagittarius, not everybody is happy for you. And it doesn't matter who it is. It could be a co-worker, uh, a relative. It could be anybody, really. Uh, of course, if it's somebody that's at a distance, how do they care or what do they care? Right? This Okay, it's somebody... You need to take action. You're in touch with the truth in the situation and you need to trust your gut and lovingly assert yourself. Lovingly assert yourself. You know what's going on. Sagittarius, take action. You're in touch with the truth in the situation and you need to trust your gut and lovingly assert yourself. For those of you that that makes sense, please leave a comment and a link below. Uh, private readings, Petrella's intuitiveinsights.com listed in the link below. Um, I uh, also do the shadow side and the uh, strength side of each sign. I do it in my private reading, so I decided to include it here. Um, Sagittarius, we're first gonna go with your strength of the Sagittarius for September. 
See, that love is just beaming through. Sagittarius strength, September 1st to the 15th of 2023. Your energy, your protection, your attitude of gratitude, your healing, you're really moving forward with this. You, you're, you're, it's that healing, loving energy. And the attitude of gratitude is helping you manifest the life that you desire. That's truly one of your strengths. Now, be careful of the people that you shut out. I don't know what I mean by that, but pay attention to this. Now, this is, let's pull your shadow side of the Sagittarius. Here we go. Oh, okay. A new beginning. A new beginning and an awakening. Sometimes you have, uh, you struggle with new beginnings. Uh, it's... But look at that white, white, the realignment, the perspective, the awakening. When somebody brings something up to you, don't answer right away or interrupt their words. That's a total lack of disrespect. If you're afraid to hear or you just think it's a power play, let it go, Sagittarius. Listen to what's being said. Because you know what? You may need to realign yourself and renew your perspective. I, I know a couple Sagittarius that you could be right in the middle of talking and what they do is they shut you down and they start talking. And I actually just learned that <clears throat> I don't even talk to them. I don't even tell them my stories. I just, just don't because really it's a power play. So uh, if you know somebody like that Sagittarius, just, you know what, let them just talk. Every time they shut you down, say less. The relationship will dissipate at some point. Any last messages for the Sagittarius? Your health. Look, the key to your success is your health. So if you have a, um, a bad habit, it could be an addiction. This could be to sugar. This could be to pornography. This could be to you fill the blank, some kind of addiction. And... It, it's going to affect your health. Uh, it could be the sugar. Do you get it? It's the addiction of. But this taking care of your health is directly linked to your success. So you need to take care of your health. Sagittarius, Sagittarius if this resonated with you, please click like, share, subscribe. Private readings, PetrellasIntuitiveInsights.com. I am Petrella's Intuitive Insights. <laughs> And um, for those of you that donate to, donated to my channel, and look, you're helping my channel to grow. I so appreciate it. You have no idea. And with that, God bless you, Sagittarius. God bless you.